Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Samantha, from Samantha's Hair Creation. And I was requested to do a feed-in tutorial, feed-in braids tutorial. I'm not good at doing voiceovers, so I'm just trying my best. I'm very shy, so here it goes. At this moment, I uh, have already pre-parted the hair. I'm doing my daughter hair. She's my model, like always. And I just made some quick little braids in there just so that I can keep the flow going as I braid. Um, I'm still practicing on how to do certain braid styles. You know, it's not really my forte, but I do enjoy doing them. So at this part right here, I'm just um, basing the hair with some edge control, braiding edge control, just to, you know, make the hair nice and smooth as I braid. And I'm just smoothing the hair out really, really smooth. And trust me, I'm not hurting her at all. My daughter, she's not tender headed at all, but I'm just you know, letting you guys know I'm not rough at all. My clients would say, yeah, I, I'm pretty good at not hurting them. So I'm just smoothing it out, smoothing the little edges. She loves baby hair, so I'm just gonna leave some little bit of baby hair out for her. And I'm going to try and uh, show you guys the best way I can doing the feed in braids. This is my first time actually trying to show it. So hopefully you guys can get the picture. And if not, I'll try another video. Okay, at this part right here, I'm just starting off my braid. So you're gonna want to start off the braid first with their real hair. Now, if their hair is really short and you can't grip it, you can start using just a little bitty piece of braiding hair to start their braid. But if they have long enough hair or full enough hair, you can start off with their real hair. And then all you're doing is braiding like you regularly braid hair. But instead, you'll be adding pieces of the braiding hair as you braid. That's why it's called feeding braids, because you're adding hair as you braid. So I just added my first strand of braiding hair and I'm just gathering hair as I braid and um, adding the strands of braiding hair in, if that makes sense. There's my second strand of hair. I'm adding that in now. See that? I pinched it and I'm just gonna braid, lock that in. And then I'm going to gather some more hair and add that strand that I left out, add that in the braiding, the braid as well. That's the technique on how to hide the hair as you braid it in. So this is the third strand. You may need six strands depending on the braid or maybe seven strands. So you wanna pre have your strands ready before you start your braid. For beginners, some people have the client hold the hair and just pinch off hair as they go along, but some people also have it where they already have the strands ready. Whatever's convenient for you. So right now, I'm 
I'm beginning to add the fourth strand and I just pinch it with my braiding finger see that I move that strand out of the way and now I'm locking that piece of strand in and I just continue to gather more hair and just braid and then you add the that strand in so now I'm just gathering some more hair the fifth and I'm moving that piece out the way and just twisting that strand on in it's very simple ladies guys it's very simple and just bring that on piece on in there and you see the braid gradually getting bigger and the sixth strand of hair I'm adding that piece in I'm moving that piece out of the way and then gather some hair and braid because you're locking that piece in and then you add that hair and again some people have their way of doing it but this is just how I do it it's easier for me but as you get comfortable with doing feet and braids you have your own technique on how you do it and this is the sixth strand see how I have pinched it between the fingers I'm moving that piece out of the way and that strand is right there and I'm going to braid that hair in just like that I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying or at least showing you can understand you can see how I'm doing it and then I brought that hair in that strand in so you see if you look at the braid you don't see where the hair was added in it added in so I'm just smoothing some um, edge tamer just to make the braid more smoother again take your time don't rush if it's your first time take your time try to do smaller braids or medium braids as you are learning how to do feed ins because it'll make it easier if you're trying to do feed ins with big braids you're gonna have a rough time gathering all that hair and feeding in so try small first and just braid it on down Just like that. And trust me, the braid isn't tight at all. It's just my daughter hair is thin, so any little tug looks like it's pulling. And I'm just adding hair at the ends of hair, natural hair, so that it can blend in well with the braiding hair. And when you do do any feed in braids, try to get the hair that's pre-feathered so that for the ends will gradually get small. So as you braid, it'll be fat and then as you keep braiding the braids, it looks smaller at the end and give it that natural look. So I just have her holding the braid as I braid so that it won't pull her hair. And that's it, you guys. That's all to it. So just keep watching and enjoy and please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Samantha Hair Creation is one word. And comment and, you know, I take any type of comments, you know, if I messed up, let me know. If you have any ideas, please request it and I will do it.
Thank you.